This is your weekend market recap for January 21, 22. Let's go. This is Dan Max at EXP Realty, aka The Trading Agent, and this is my stock, Bitcoin, gold, and silver daily market recaps. Please subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you. This is Dan Max at EXP Realty, aka The Trading Agent. This is your weekend market recap for Friday, January 21, 2022. January 21, 2022 for stocks bitcoin gold and silver let's get into it there's a lot to talk about please stick around if you're trying to figure out what's going on and you want some insight to all the shenanigans in the game and the markets stick around it's not going to be short it's for a long weekend to get into deeply into the charts again if you're new to the channel and want more information stop by the discord room link is in the description below if you like daily market recaps, live trade alerts, and educational videos, all of it is in the side channels. Good stuff. Please subscribe. I appreciate it. So today, again, let's let's take some humble pie. Stops did their job. If you are wrong, you are gone. That's trading, you know. Anticipating the big smash when the seasonal time isn't there. Man, I've seen more people get lose money shorting when it's not the right time than so you have to play the probabilities. I still think what we have going is some interesting setups that ultimately will benefit the bulls. Go check out Twitter. Go check out stock twits. Everyone's bearish. And usually at the highs, everyone's bullish. And at the lows, everyone's bearish. We'll see what happens here. I mean, we're at interesting spots. So let's get into it. First things first. Oh, sorry cough there the s p 500 already pulled back 6.5 percent yada 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 i've said this because the year's ending in two if you go look at my education years ending in two it's usually a bear market lows in the year two ending in two generally late in the year flatted down for small upside and large downside moves expect sharper downside slide in the summer trading zone frequently hits lows in octobers again we're still in the early part of the year I mean, I could see some down here, but I think we're closer to down than not being over because, again, with the Fed, this market is just going to push the Fed to say, hey, we're not raising rates. Keep that in mind. The the rates have risen already about half, um, about 50 basis points, which is two rate hikes already. Keep that in mind if you look at the bond yields. Is it already priced in? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's get into it because I, you know, Bitcoin's interesting to me because I was uh, looking at some of the action. You zoom out. Come on. Come on. Do, do, do. I think you are coming into levels that make it pretty darn interesting. I noticed this on my phone. So, again, I, I like to draw live because I want people to see what's. What's going on here? This 30,000 level obviously is going to matter. Let me pull up the... It was on the monthly. And this thing just has not been around that long, so it's hard to do the monthlies. I know. I apologize this is slow. If this bothers you and annoys you, I apologize. I mean, this is just how it goes sometimes. The cat on my ear here. do 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 do, do. Maybe I didn't see it. And again, I'm just drawing this on the fly. I, I really think maybe it's just been a different exchange. I had it, but ultimately, I mean, we're coming into the next spots. So keep that in mind. I like the 35,000 range. I mean, I don't care what you say, you know, if you're bearish, whatever. I mean, again, opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one. It's not really that important at this point. This is why I like to look at the daily. We talked about potentially a bottoming pattern. But look what's happening. We're spiking volume again. Washouts usually happen at the low. Big volume at the low can be an inflection point. Let's just keep it that simple. If I mean, again, I think people get through this and they, they don't understand the psychology of trading where they just have these assumptions that they can't be wrong. And I'm just here to tell you, like, be smart. Have assumptions, have trading potential, but just don't ever marry anything. Bitcoin, silver, Tesla, whatever it is, just don't marry it. Trade it. Know what's going on. This big volume down here. Don't be surprised. Someone someone has to stop this action. Look at these candles and then look at the volume. Something's going on here. I like the 35,000 range. I'm not going to talk too much more about Bitcoin, but let's talk about some of the other things that really matter. TLT. Now, again, 
Hope people are paying attention. Again, what have I said? As long as the rates are pretty stable, the market's going to be okay. We went from 154 down to 140. If you look at the actual bond yields, it went up about, you know, almost 50 basis points. Is the Fed right head Fed hike priced in? I mean, you're hitting the support zone here and we're bouncing. That's what the Feds want. They want lower rates. They don't want them higher. So if they can actually get the market to push the rates lower, ooh wee. Ooh wee ooh wee. I mean, the, again, the Feds don't have to do anything. They like this action short term. So if people are scared and push the rates lower, I mean, they're the job's being done for. Like, just, just watch that. Because if you think about the long term, rates are still historically low. The market's going to have no other alternative. Just keep it that simple. The dollar talked about it would pop off the 100 day, probably reject the 20 day. Again, the dollar didn't act that great today. Not surprised. It looks tired. Now, is this market going to follow the dollar? Probably not. The VIX, again, this is where Humble Pie is taken. We're getting into the levels where near 30, crash risk. Do I think there's going to be a crash? I don't. Again, I could be wrong, but what, co I mean, like Ireland's lifting restrictions. The Democrats, again, this is not about politics referring which side is wrong or right or whatever. If you're a Democrat, you want to loosen policies and open up the economy in front of the midterm election. If the economy is still hanging in the dumpsters going into the midterm election, the House and the Senate are going to get swept hard by the Republicans. That's all I'm going to say about the politics of it. So if you're the Democrats, you need to see COVID end, meaning you need to let the economy go back to normal. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen shortly. Keep in mind... Any virus like the flu, Spanish flu, the flu is still here. It's not gonna doesn't want to kill its host. It wants to adapt and survive. COVID's here for as long as I'm gonna be alive. Keep it simple. VIX, I don't think we're gonna get into the crash risk. I just don't feel it. Everybody on Twitter, everybody online is going nuts. And it's like, man, VIX spikes are pretty normal. Like it happens. Are we gonna get like this crazy crap? I don't think so. I think. You're going to max out here soon. Everybody's bearish at the lows. Even the market's not even down that much. That's what's crazy is people just went bearish instantaneously, and the market really loves to screw people when they do that. We'll see what happens. Spy, some more humble pie. I thought we'd hold the 50-day or 200-day. We did hold it intraday in the first hour. You can see uh, we had this pop, and it... We went from like 443 up to 448, which was only five points, but it did look like a bounce. You had good volume, but then again, I've been gone all day doing working on a deal for a friend. Um, I think you got to watch this gap. That's the next spot. And everyone's saying, oh, the trend line broke and all this stuff. It's like, yep, they have, but be aware. Look at this volume. Could this be a puke blow off day? Again, I I want to see the volume at the high showing a start of a down move, not volume at the lows. Because if you get volume at the lows, market makers got to eat it and probably pushing it. You know, at the highs, everyone's hysteria jumping in like numb nuts. At the lows, market makers eating it and they're going to need to unload it. And they want to do it at higher prices. The Qs, this has been the culprit of weakness. Talked about this for weeks. I mean, keep in mind, here's the next reference point. Said if you couldn't hold here, bounce back into it. <clears throat> Not good. Again, if you think you can predict every move and you're you want to follow someone who says they can, I am going to tell you right now, they're full of shit. No one is right all the time. The best institutions and head funds trade with an 87% accuracy. I trade with the 82 to 85%, and I don't need to spend all that money. <clears throat> I will be wrong. Shit happens. If you want to follow someone who pretends to always be right. Just give me your money. I'll put it in a safety deposit box, and I'll give it back to you after you're done losing it, that small amount with that guy who has the uh, magic crystal ball of certainty. Gold holding up well. Again, if you look at the relative action, as the market's been going lower, what has gold been doing? Same thing with silver. It seems to be holding up pretty well. I like this. I mean, we talked about this yesterday. If you watched the recap video, the 200-day might be a problem. Well, guess what? It was. Here, and here you go again. I mean, it, repeating patterns. Now, how far does it pull back? That's ultimately going to be the question. 
that's decent volume up here, but let's see what happens. All you did was just fill a gap. Think relative, not absolute. Oh, it's pulling back. It's the end of the world. Well, relative to what? It didn't drop that much, actually. You dropped 30, 40 cents off the highs. <sighs> People freak out easily. They don't know how to read the charts. I get it, man. If you're newer to this, every tick and every move just shakes you and makes you change your mind confuses the hell out of you well guess what that's what the markets do gdx broker volume what have i always said about breakouts and they can retest the back test of the trend line if that happens grab a wheelbarrow of money deposit it into your brokerage account and buy the gdx with a tight stop <laughs> or buy the nugget like i've done this thing that three times uh triple lever Bought a bunch of it in the 46 range. Got up to 54 really quickly. I got stopped out of some of it today, but if we get back in the 46 level, your boy is buying hot, hot. AG talked about this the 100 day. If it back test, man, to any 10, 10 and a half has been the goal. Anything under 11 now, it still says an effing deal. It's an absolute deal. I mean, just man. You buy low. It's really hard for people to do it. It's For me, it's not. I, I I get scared when shit rises. When I own something, it goes in a straight line, move higher. I'm looking to sell. I'm not trying to hold tight like average person. I get scared because I know what happens. Things go up. Things go down. KL, I'm just noticing something. This looks a little interesting. Keep that in mind. I mean, we got a wedge. We got a confirmed wedge. Keep that in mind trade it here are all the moving averages we're in a big congestion zone look to the left here's the vap zone could it get down to 40 39 absolutely this thing can be a little crazy just be aware be self-aware like use your brain not your emotions here to like calculate whether you can be wrong or right if you're sitting at the blackjack table and you play all the time and it's all based on emotion casino's gonna take all your money man back test of the downtrend uh not great but i like this this doesn't necessarily invalidate it, but the action can pull down. If the market's melting, as I said earlier in the week, and I'll say it again, the best action for the metals and miners is usually with a choppy market with a higher, a mentality of chopping higher. Big, big liquidation breaks, nothing's safe. Nothing. Look at the whole market. There's nothing safe. Bonds and dollar. Unless you're investing in that, that's the only thing that usually goes up. X, oh man, this stopped me out. And, and of course it backtests the trend line today. Will it be a one day event? <clears throat> I don't know. You look at the monthly, could it hit the 20 month? I mean, this thing is, not, it, it went from $5 to 20, 30. It's of course it's digesting. Could this be the knee bend, like the last uh, drop before the pop? Again, if you're this far in the video, keep an eye on this stuff. I mean, we're gonna get into it, valet. Oh my God, it's down 40 cents. Look at this. I mean, pull up the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ and put them over top of each other. This is up, NASDAQ down. This is holding up. Watch for dips to buy. Don't get scared. Don't act like a re... Uh, well, I'm not going to say that, the, that word, but just don't be scared. I mean, I'd look for levels to test. I, You know, the 20-day, we talked about it weeks ago that it was a buy opportunity. The 20-day catches up with the 15 level. Please don't be scared. Just buy it with a stop and thank me later. AMD thought we were going to hold the trend line. Again, this is why I'm, I'm telling people, like, just lay off tech, man. It is lagging. Upper trend line, head and shoulders top, lower lows. I liked it at the green trend line. It might go lower, but you know what the safest trade is? Wait for the downtrend to break. Really simple. Wait for the downtrend to break. I know you might miss out on some bottom points, but... If this downtrend breaks with volume, you've got more room upside. At this point, your only potential is just chop and pop. Just keep that in mind. Apple what, Apple was interesting today because if you watch the chart on the uh, hourly, it was actually holding up pretty good today. At the open, it was up and actually got positive and was looking all right. By the end of the day, not so much. Here's a gap actually. Could it come back to the, fill the gap and hit the uh, 100 day there? Anything is possible. Again, I always tell them, like, stop stop thinking through the mindset of, like, oh, this is going to happen. Put out the levels, watch it, stop out, rebuy, 
let it go, whatever you need to do, but just don't lose money. Micro strategy. Ooh, blowout. Again, stops did their job. I haven't, I mean, I like this thing. If Bitcoin's in a bounce, wait, guess what? Bitcoin made new lows, and that just I means, man, it's got to be off like 70% off of its high. That's pretty bonkers. I just watch it. You need to make higher lows and get back over old lows. That's just how it is. Trading, sometimes it's hard. Keep it simple. Roblox, I bought some of this at like 70 today. I didn't put a stop in that tight because I know this thing's wild. I might ultimately regret it. I like it. Again, I didn't get absolutely murdered today because my positions, I was losing some gains in metal stuff, but ultimately the stuff that I've been scalping, I'm either right quickly or wrong and I'm gone. Again, we'll get into UBXY. I'm, I'm still stacking that thing because the thing is just, you can hold it short all for the long term if you get good prices. Yeah, this is area. Hold it. 69.70. Keep in mind, I mean, I have this sneaky inkling feeling that whatever happens over the weekend, I know markets don't typically bottom on Friday, but something's telling me we might pop on Monday. And then from there, I'll be able to reevaluate what I need to do next. Just keep it simple, stupid. Rivian. This one is, again, where stops have kept you out of trouble. It's now at the 1.3x hit, 1.382 extension down. Doji today. Now again, one day doesn't make a trend, but when tech's getting crushed and you pull a Doji day, that could be a bottoming signal. Keep it on the watch list. Tesla, trying to tell people, be careful. When Tesla is in correction mode, just leave it the fuck alone. It happens from time to time. You go big moves at pullback from 900 to. The 540s, do the math. That's a big percentage. It's a big percentage. 30, 40% corrections are normal. 12, 40. Remember how I say this, the lower high is better to short? The lower high was better to short. Look at that. <clears throat> now we're at some channels and trend lines. If we fail here, um, yeah, 800s, 8 handle. I would look for the 8 handle. Again, I'm not shorting this at this point. I, I did get... Pulled uh, 50 points two weeks ago out of it. Shorten it here for a scalp. Did pretty good. I, I just don't know what to tell people sometimes. You want like the answer? The answer is have a fucking stop. And also just don't always believe your stocks can go up. Just don't be that idiot. Tesla does this all the time. Big up move, consolidates. Big up move, consolidates. Big up move, consolidates. The bigger the up moves, the bigger the consolidation price-wise are going to be. Percentage-wise, they're probably all relatively relative, but... I mean, I'm just amazed at people who don't know what's going on in the market and they just sit here and they listen to these people who tell them to buy and hold and just hold, 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 hold. And then they buy something like Peloton or they buy something like fucking AOI or Garmin or some stupid shit and they lose their ass and they go, well, I did it because someone told me to. It's like, no, that, that's not a rational excuse. You have the control here. Don't put it in other people's hands. UTHR, we've talked about this. I need to see it get over the 215 range with volume. If not, it's just cooking, just marinating. It doesn't look bad. It's high and tight. I mean, think of this as a big consolidation pattern. Not that bad. End today. You know, it hit the 40 level. I told people I got stopped out. I mean, it's just getting smoked with the market. If you want, wait for it to get over the 20 day. I see a trend now forming. Hopefully, you can see it too. I would watch this trend line, break it with volume. It's just that simple. I mean, I hate to keep saying it's that simple, but it really is. Bought some EXPI today. Not excited about the close, but lower rates get me excited about my stock here. Oh, can we fill the gap at 23? Anything is possible. I mean, again, broken record. <clears throat> but I like buying low. I mean, it was at 60. I'll buy it at 24, 25 all day with a stop because guess what stops do what they're supposed to do stop me out if i'm wrong uvxy i shorted this today scalped it made some nice money again the chart doesn't matter the stock is based on the vix and zoom out and you see why it's just the epic i mean just always short it makes lower lows but what will happen in time it might pop <clears throat> keep in mind i mean i was shorting at 16 1580 1620 1640 1660 
made some money, added big around 1620, and now I'm down. Yeah, it hurts, but I'm going to probably double my position size if it pops more. I mean, it just sounds crazy to most people, but the stock is just the easiest short in the world. Let's end it on oil as we always do, Exxon, Mobile, and XOP. We talked about it retesting the highs. I mean, <laughs> levels matter, man. They matter. We got up to 112s, failed. It hit the 100-day. Again, it's interesting to notice when the market closes near the lows and what doesn't. Somebody was buying. Watch that 100-day. Exxon Mobil. I mean, I pointed this out all week. Zoom out. Uh-oh, downtrend. Well, guess what? That's the monthly chart. Does it need to chill out for a little bit? I mean, it's always possible. It is always possible. I apologize. So, again, yeah. I mean, you broke. I mean, I mean, we've been all over the 60 up to 74. Pretty strong move for ExxonMobil. Great trading. I mean, if you've been in it. I just hope anybody who's following this and has had this far is sitting here going, man, trading's hard. Even pros, any people who've been in it for 20 years know this. I mean... I've warned people stay away from ARC. I've warned people stay away from tech. I've warned people that, you know, if you do buy these things at the lows, have stops. And if you did, you're not really that emotional about today's market. You're just like, huh, damn, that's some, that's some shit. And if you're looking at certain things to buy, like, man, you're like, that's some shit. I will buy that. You know, here's the bottom of the VAP zone for Roblox. Again, I don't know how many people watch this at the end, but Give me a like if you have, because I'm going to believe that you did. And so if you come in the Discord room and you have a question, it's because you watch this video fully. The people who come in and just ask gen general questions, it's like, hey, man, what's your time worth? You know, if you had a question for me and I just ran and asked you like a little kid versus did any research, I mean, you'd probably answer me. But at a certain point, it's like, don't you want to know the answer? Figure it out on your own a little bit. So save yourself, you know, from asking, like, do the do the due diligence. Trading's not easy. Let's just end it there. I love everybody. Please be safe. Have stops. Realize everybody's bearish now. That scares me just like when everybody, I mean, here's an example if you're watching this far. When everybody was bullish Tesla, what was I saying? Be careful. You, you always got to be aware of the mass psychology and think at some point, the masses are always wrong. And that's a motherfucking fact. Samuel L. Jackson would say it that way. I hope this helps. I will talk to y'all later. Peace. Thanks for watching. For more trading knowledge and insight, click on the videos on the right and also join the Discord room. Link is in the description below. If you have any questions, please stop on by the Discord room and let's chat. Thank you.